Today I'll be showing you how to pair your Android phone to Android Auto. First thing you're going to do is uh, open up your phone's Bluetooth and make sure it's scanning and you'll see VLINE 2. Select Android Auto and your phone will pop up on the bottom of the list. We're going to select the phone and the phone and the VLINE are both going to get a pairing request. Make sure you allow access to your contacts and call history. Press pair and then on your phone you can do the same. Now that the phone is pairing, it's going to change its status to waiting for Android Auto UI. When it's waiting for Android Auto UI, it is going to make its connection and that's going to take you to Android Auto. After connected to Android Auto, your music will start playing right away. You'll have access to your maps, all the other great features, reason why everybody wants Android Auto. All right, you got the exit button. If you select the circle in the bottom left here, select exit, that'll take you to the Android Auto settings. In the Android Auto settings, you can adjust your audio volumes, select Bluetooth tethering, which we have another video for I recommend watching. And then right here is where you can tap to disconnect your phone and go to the top right for show UI, which will take you back to Android Auto. While we're talking about Android Auto, I'm also gonna show you how to pair your phone to your car system while using Android Auto. What you're gonna do for phone settings is you're gonna make sure you pair to the V-Line for audio only. So if it has the option for calls, make sure you turn that off for the V-Line too. Then with your factory hands-free OEM Bluetooth module, you're gonna select calls only, and you'll see the option for audio. Make sure that's turned off. So for the factory hands-free, it's gonna be calls on, audio off, and again with the V-Line, you only want audio. Now when you receive a call, it'll stay in Android Auto, and you'll be able to answer the call while using your OEM Bluetooth. On the bottom, it's gonna show the call options. You can open it up by pressing the phone button. You'll see more options for the call. You could go back down, you could, you know, open up your title streaming, go back to your maps. When you receive the call, it's gonna take you to the OEM Bluetooth, and in this vehicle, you just hold menu, and holding menu will take you back to Android Auto. When you hang up the call, it'll take you to your most recent call list. After you finish with the call, it's going to take you back uh, to Android Auto. You're going to be able to use your maps, title, um, any of those applications you like to use while you're in Android Auto.